Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19.2 with me Shaw Survivor. We're about to continue our main loot easy series into episode 9. Okay so as you can see we are stood outside one of the business strip buildings, uh, the toilets to go work in stiffs and King O Law. And what we're going to do in this one is we're going to go round the rear of the building this side. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go and find this little gap here. Get your frames, build one away from the wall. Nudge it, pull your way up. Uh, just to let you know, I'm still playing in Alpha 19.2 for this last episode. And then I'm going to stick on the uh, Alpha 19.3. So as you can see, we've now pulled up and we have some zombies, including a zombie dog just here. But like we said in previous episodes, because we're all away from the building here, um, technically we're in a different block. So if I am crouched, I should be able to shoot the dog without waking the others. And if I had a better weapon, obviously, I would be able to, I'd be, I'd be able to kill him probably in one shot because I'm crouched, but because I don't have such a good weapon because I'm low level, I can't. That's him dead. Vulture dead. Can I just sneak over the frame here just to get him and get him. And so there you are. Somebody beating downstairs, I'm not too really too worried about that. So there's your main loot on this one. It's a pretty good main loot as well because it's quite a high level POI, I believe it's level 3. Uh, so yeah, there's your main loot. Just going to move on down. And away from this POI, I'm just going to show you Somebody's somebody's angry. Oh, it's just it's just him. We ain't too worried about you, mate. We come on in. You frozen ass over here. Good night. So the next one we're going to do is literally the next one next door. We're going to actually do all four of these in this episode. Um, so it's going to be this one here. So the cracker book, store more, and Merch's carpets, uh, and. What you're going to want to do on this is just a little bit of parkour. You can obviously just go through the up on top of the building if you want to, because that's where the main loot is. But what I'm going to show you here, so I'm just going to go back up to where I was. Hopefully this works first time, because sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> So I'm going to go right back up to where I was here. And what I'm going to do about, without, without, try my best without waking anybody. There's a, there's a gun uh, weapons bag right there, by the way, just in case you're interested in looting that one. If I can actually put down this frame, that would be useful. There we are. Jump up here. There isn't, whoa, there isn't a zombie up here. So you want to be on this ledge here. And then, if you just run off this ledge, drop yourself down. You shouldn't break anything or sprain anything, it's not so high. And um, you just got tap jump. And there's your main loop for this POI. So, really, really simple way of doing it rather than going up or nerd pulling or anything. You can literally just hop from this POI. Onto this POI, get two main lo loots within about three or four minutes. Really, really simple. The only thing now is I'm quite high up and I don't believe. I, oh, I should not have done that. Don't do that because <laughs> you will break your leg. Right, so obviously I would put. Uh, I've, I've got a cast, I think, actually. I don't really want to use God mode, really. So just come through. You could probably just nerd pull your way down. That would have probably been the easier way of doing that. But that's those two quite large. So, oh, hello, Mr. Mountain Lion. 
Oh, not a good time to reload. Get off me. Anyone else? No? Right, so let's move on to the next one. It's just this um, the Shotgun Messiah, Cupboard Joe and Storage Warehouse over here. Just going to quickly rip around this corner. Right, so see if there's anyone around here that wants to play. Nope. Right, okay, so we want to get our frames back out on this one. Just pop one right there. And if I can, now pull your way up. My guy's exhausted. Stammer's terrible. Right, okay, so what you want to do is only put one block on top of here. Get out your pick. Not your axe, your pick. Crouch, of course, because then you won't wake anybody. And once I've broken through this, we should be in a good position to get the main loot. Just sneak in here. Should be completely undisturbed. Try not to walk on those white ones there because they will fall through. But this is a really good main loot with three crates, a reinforced chest, and a weapons bag. It's a pretty decent main loot. And what I'm going to do now is obviously I'm going over to the building just there, which is the last POI I'm going to show you today. And the good thing is they're all in this area, so you don't have to go very far. What I'm going to do, kill this lumberjack first of all. What I might do him with a pick because I just fancy it. Oh, mate. Come on in. Pick your nose. Oh, I've got no stamina. Oh, I'm dead. No stamina, I've just drunk a mega crush. Right, so what I'm going to want to do here is just take a frame and jump up on this dumpster if I can, there we are and just pop it right there that will all become clear why I've done that in a moment just gonna get my frames back out pop back over here jump back up here so probably would be best practice the frame that I've put down just over there if you just come around the back of the building before you do this POI pop that frame in place then I'd pull up here. A lot of the time I just improvise, so um, I'm not, you know I'll record the episode, but I just improvise what I'm doing, so it's not an exact science, perfect science. Right, okay, so up on the roof up here, there are zombies up here in this area, just over there. You can avoid them. Hopefully, he says. Famous last words. And what you're going to want to do is jump over to this ledge here. And this is why we put the frame in. And it's right about there. So we've dropped down from up above the roof just there. So what we're going to want to do now is break into this POI. Now I've done this one a few times where I've broken in here. It's very difficult to wake the zombies that are in the ceiling on this part. Say with shooting and killing them from here. I'll just test that now, actually that theory. Because um, they are up there in that ceiling. Um, so what I normally do is make sure I've got a fully loaded mag. They normally want you to come and step in down here. Put my magazine again. So just walk on down these steps and they should all, there you go, drop out there. They will come after you. You will normally get a couple of ferals. Dead. You're dead. 
And this one is the best main loot of the bunch. So as you can see here, you have got a hardened chest. Um, and you have got a large ammo pile just there. And you can rather just come back in the way that I showed you. Just like this. Take the frame just down to the dumpster. And there you are, straight out of the POI. So that's the four business strip buildings done. Who's that shouting at me? Where? Oh! <laughs> Should smack your way through the frames, mate, why don't you? You dead. Yeah, so that's the uh, four uh, business strip buildings uh, complete with all the main loot. You could probably do this realistically in about 15, 20 minutes, probably less than that. And you can hit all those main loot stashes quite easily. It's up in the snow biome in Navas game, if you are playing Navas game. But of course, as, as I always say, they will spawn in um, normal cities or around a gen. Chicken, got you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you'd like to follow me for future videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. If you've enjoyed this episode, I'm sure I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.